Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm with the Helmet Center, helmetcenter.com. Today we're going to discuss how to properly fit your next motorcycle helmet. Now as you can imagine, the question we're asked most often is, hey, how should my helmet fit? Well, in a word, your helmet should fit you snug. And today we're going to discuss a few of the things to look for in getting a good fit and some of the things to avoid to keep you out of an unsafe helmet. Okay, first off. Your helmet should fit you snug. I can't repeat that enough. Snug, snug, snug. We want a good, firm pressure on that helmet. We don't want the helmet bobbling around on your head in the wind, and yet we don't want the helmet to be so tight that it's gonna cause you any discomfort while you're riding. So, how do you come into that good, snug fit? Well, if you don't have the ability to walk into a local dealership or a helmet shop and try helmets on, probably the best thing you're gonna to wanna to do is measure your head. Okay, we happen to have a measuring tape here, and what you're going to want to do with a measuring tape or a shoestring or whatever you happen to have is measure the circumference of your head. Now, where you want to measure is approximately about a half inch above your eyebrow. You want to look for the largest measurement around the circumference, and that number is going to get you in the ballpark to the proper fitting helmet for you. Okay, so when I measure my head, I come up with dead on 57 centimeters, and for most brands, 57 centimeters will put me into a size medium, which happens to be the size that I wear. But for illustration purposes, we're going to try a helmet that's a little too big. We're going to kind of show you the things that we don't want in a helmet fit. So, let's take a look at this. Here we have the new Shoei X11 Glory, really nice helmet, but unfortunately a size large is a little big for me. So I'm going to kind of go through a couple of things for you to look for, and you'll know maybe the helmet's a little too big for me. So starting off, I'm going to put the helmet on, I'm going to grab the straps, I'm going to pull them apart to the side, and I'm going to drop the helmet on. Well, first off, the problem I see with this helmet is it went on my head a little too easy. When you're putting your helmet on, it should give you a little bit of difficulty putting it down. If you think about it, if your helmet goes on your head very easily, it might come off your head easily as well, and that's what we want to avoid. Hey, that's what we're wearing motorcycle helmets here, right? Okay, once your helmet's on, we're looking for a good firm cheek pressure. We're looking for a uniform pressure throughout the crown of the helmet, no tight spots. We also don't want it to be too loose. Now, on this particular model, although it feels pretty good and pretty comfortable, most people actually would say it fits them right. But you know what? It's not right. Here's why. If you take the helmet and twist it off to the side, there is a lot of lateral movement in this helmet. Also, the next thing we're going to look for is that pressure in the forehead. Although it feels comfortable, I can take my fingers and jam them way up on the inside of the helmet. What that's going to mean is when the wind's pushing on the helmet at speed, you're going to get a lot of movement in that direction, which again is going to make your helmet an improper fit. And the last thing we're going to look for is the roll-off test. Now this is a test done by the manufacturer, well by Snell actually, and this helmet in a size large, if I pull the chin bar down, you're going to notice that it covers my eyes. It's actually going to hit my chin also here on the chin bar. That's not a good fit. So although it feels very comfortable, and most folks will think this is about right, you really should be trusting that measurement and trying one size down. So let's take a look at a proper fitting helmet. Hey, once again, it even comes off a little too easy. All right, here we go. 57 centimeter circumference. This tells me that I should be wearing a medium. So let's try and look at a medium. Grab those straps, pull them apart slightly, place them on top of my head, and that was actually a little more difficult to put on. Now, the helmet does seem a lot snugger on my head. As far as cheek pressure, I'm getting a good firm pressure pushing in on my cheeks, actually to the point where I have to carefully speak because my cheeks actually are biting, uh, actually my teeth are biting the inside of my cheeks. Forehead pressure all the way around the circumference is very, very firm. If I take my fingers and try to stuff them up in the helmet, you're gonna notice they're not really going up at all. Now, if your fingers don't go up in the helmet at all, what you want to pay attention to now is, is the helmet too tight? And probably the best way to do that is wear the helmet around for 10 or 15 minutes if you have the ability to do that. That's going to give you uh, an indication of how the helmet's going to fit you in the long term. If any hot spots develop, you're going to know if that helmet's going to be too uncomfortable. Okay, cheek pressure, good and firm. Forehead, I can't get my fingers up there, but also I could probably wear this thing for about 20 minutes without any kind of trouble indicating I probably have the right size helmet. If I grab the outer shell of the helmet and I shift it from side to side, the helmet's not going to really move. If I grab the chin bar and I rotate it around, you're going to notice that my skin is always pushing with the padding. It's never really leaving. If I grab the chin bar and I pull it off to one side, 
the padding never leaves my cheek. This is going to be a good indication that you have a properly fitted helmet. Everything makes contact, good firm cheek pressure, forehead's not too tight, very, very little lateral movement, front and back, and that's how you know when you have a properly fitted helmet. And also, it's a little difficult to take off your head. Okay, so this is kind of a quick recap and kind of a quick thing to look for as far as a good helmet fit. Snug cheeks, firm pressure on the forehead, trust your measurement. And the last thing I can tell you that's probably the easiest thing if you don't have the tape measure, but you have the ability to walk into a store, grab whatever size you want to start with. If it's a double extra large, that's fine. Try it on and keep working your way down in size until you feel like you have a proper fitting helmet. And once you're at that point, try one size smaller just to give it a shot. You'd be surprised. It's going to tell you one of two things. Either the next size smaller is way too tight and you can't wear it, or maybe this is actually a properly fitting helmet for me. Okay, if you have any further questions on helmet fit, please give us a call. This is a very, very important uh, factor of riding a motorcycle is having properly fitted gear. So give us a call, Helmet Center, 866-NEW-HELMET, Helmet Center, 866-NEW-HELMET. Thanks for watching.